What's up, everybody? <clears throat> How is everyone doing today? We are back to finish up the Teal Mask DLC and potentially dive into Indigo Disc. Thank you, Fat Bandicoot, so much for the subscribe for 32 months. It's awesome. You're the best Fat Bandicoot I know. Temple Cheese, hello, how are you? What's up, Jess? Ms. Winter Soldier, how are you doing? Hey, Rookie Pong. Good evening slash morning to you. <clears throat> Hello, Twisted. Last stream, we went around and we battled all of the Loyal Three or the Lousy Three. And uh, then we... Uh, what else did we do? Uh, we also caught a lot of Pokemon, I think. We f filling up our Pokedex and stuff. Doing a lot of that. We are almost to the end. I think. The Ogre, we have to escort back to the top of the mountain. But, I believe we also need to capture the, uh... Hmm. Sorry, I was just looking at the camera. Uh, I believe we also have to capture the next, uh, the, the three, uh, loyal, the loyal three people. I believe how am i doing uh i am good uh we uh had work today did some uh fun other stuff that should be coming out later at some point uh at least before april and um also uh went and voted in the ohio pr 
primaries, did that. Um, and then got back here and made sure everything was set up so I could start streaming. I've been uh, in my off time. I don't know if it was heard. When I opened up the Switch initially, it was on my Super Mario Maker uh, 2 game. And on that, I've been playing through and trying to... Uh, trying to, like, make a Super Mario Super Link world with the uh, Link uh, level thing. So I've been making a lot of Link levels and trying to come up with new ideas for that, so. Moon Super Mario RPG is one I want to play. I never played the original, and I wanted to play the remake, but I have yet to do that. <clears throat> I figured I'd find him, KC. I think someone might have mentioned that last week as well. J Jack, welcome. Watching Blind Wave with, with the Doctor Who series. Oh, I, I like Doctor Who. It's fun. First stream you've caught? Ah, well, welcome. Glad you could join. And welcome to anyone over on YouTube. I mainly watch the uh, Twitch chat. It's more front and center for me to see, but uh, I'll try to keep glances over on YouTube as well if you're here on Pokemality, uh, which uh, thank you guys for subs over there. We recently got, uh, we passed 8,000 on that channel. And uh, I should be having within the next, I don't know how long it'll take for editing, but I plan on opening for the new set. I'm excited for uh, some card opening stuff too. <clears throat> yeah, okay, see, it's been taking me a while. I've, uh, I, I, I go in waves of figuring out ideas and what kind of levels I want to do, and then I'll go through like spurts of watching uh, Mario Maker like, uh, gadget creations like there's different things you can make with different items and stuff to do different things and trying to see if some of that will translate into some kind of legend of zelda e kind of stuff or just it works for mario because link can't pick stuff up but he gets swords shield arrows bombs some fun stuff with that so <clears throat> i've made several levels but i haven't i want to finish a whole world is what i'm trying to do welcome back guys uh, good, you're getting your Peach game. Oh, is the Peach game coming out? Like that new Peach game? Is that this Friday? I didn't realize that, if that's what it is. Wow, okay. Yeah, you're early this time, guys. Awesome. Uh, Fall Guys? Yeah, we might go back to Fall Guys. Uh, it's especially good to be able to like just play with viewers and just make like a big lobby and get a lot of people in. I'm going to, before it gets too late, get started here into the game. It's 610, but I want to keep chatting as well, so don't feel like you can't send messages. But no, the Peach game looks uh, it looks interesting. Um, I haven't played any demos of it or anything yet. Uh, but it looked a little different than uh, like a typical Mario game, too. All right, let's fly back over here to uh, shoot, Masui? Kit Kitakami? What's this land called? Is the land called Kitakami? <coughs> Peach game seems fun. Yeah, Pong. <laughs> the 22nd is also when the next uh, Pokemon set comes out. Ah, uh, the WaveCon shirt? Yes. We're going to be having WaveCon uh, this August. We're excited for that. It's been a while since we've gotten to see... I guess uh, the last time I saw uh, any viewers would have been, what? The, L the London trip? I suppose? Oh yeah, PopCon. I saw some people at PopCon. That's true. Yeah, the celebration trip was the one I was thinking of, but yeah, we saw people at PopCon. All right, let's take a look at the Pokedex real quick. <coughs> I have 163, we've seen 170. There's probably some of these guys, I know some of these guys are around. All right, now that we're done with the bulk of things, I think, let's see if we can. <coughs> this one must be one we need to do. Evolve, right? <coughs> Corfish, we need to evolve. 
We need to get a Geodude. But I probably need to trade for Geodude. Do I need to trade for Geodude? And we need to get a Victory Bell. I might just see if I can use some candies for some of these guys. I don't know how Pochi guys does stuff. <laughs> Keep Mammo here. Kitakami seems to be a real place in Japan, so if we go by Pokemon Geography, it is below Sinnoh and above Kanto. Really? <clears throat> well, that's cool. Alright, let's give, um, what if I give a large candy to Corpish? Is that enough? How much does large candy give me? Not quite enough. Let's give him one more. I think he'll evolve if I level him once. No, I didn't. I didn't. I was running out of time. I went to vote and then I came back and I didn't change out of my, uh, my WaveCon shirt. Grodent. Yeah, the last Peach game was on the DS, right? Super Peach? Not even the 3DS, I think, right? Wants to learn Swift? Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, I believe Weeping Bell, if it's the same, we need to give it a... Leaf Stone? I'm sure I have one. Is it? I think I'm in the right spot, right? Here we go. Yeah. I got three of them. <clears throat> uh, the Star Wars podcast you can find on Wave Squadron as well as here on Twitch. Um, we're having some issues with the RSS feed that we've been feeding onto our website, and hopefully we'll have that issue fixed here soon. But there's been a complication between our host for that for some reason. But yeah, if you want to look, at, look up Wave Squadron, and all of it should be uh, listed there, I believe. Been watching since Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Really? Wow. That has been quite a while. Dude, I can't remember the last time I used Victory Bell. Um, is there anything that I use for... Does this guy just level? Um, let's try leveling up the Matcha Ghost. And see what happens when we do that. Let's give him two. And see if he evolves. He might need an item. Seems he needs an item. Um... I can evolve Jangmo. Oh, I don't think he needs an item, right? Let's give him one level. I think he just evolved straight through, so if I give him two levels, we should be good there. <clears throat> Anarista, thank you so much for the sub. 48 months, thank you so much. Yeah, Jangmo is gonna evolve now. Dude, Agents of Shield is still one of my favorite TV shows. Gets into fist fight so intense that the scales on its arms peel off. Bare arms are a sign of valiance. Oh, we have Volibee somewhere. We need to evolve Volibee. I think that one's just a level as well. <coughs> I might need to give him another candy. I got a lot of large candy, so I don't mind using these. Ordered Scarlet early today. It'll be my first Pokemon since Platinum. Ah, oh, sweet. That's awesome. I, I enjoyed uh, Scarlet and its storyline and stuff. Dang it, Grass, get out of the way. I hope you enjoy it, uh, Marty. Look at this guy. Look at his tail. 
Don't really use this guy. Dragon and fight. First, yeah, this is my first time going through the DLCs. Um, I'm almost done with Teal Mask. I need to take the ogre back up to his cave. Um, I don't need to worry about this. I can remember moves later. <clears throat> Alright, so out of these guys, I still need to get this. Um, do I have an item for him? Not there. If I do, I might have passed it. Oh. Aha! Here we go. I got two of these, so let's evolve this one, and then if I want to try to, like, make a really good competitive one, I can. <clears throat> I've seen what this one looks like before, right? Yeah. That's pretty neat. Poltergeist. Sinistra. Sin it pretends to be teeth. Dang it, I hit the button too soon. Sinistra. Macha Gacha, yes. That one seemed to be pretty good. Let's learn Macha Gacha. We'll get rid of, um... User's HP is restored. Oh. Fires a blast of tea that is mixed. User's HP is restored by up to half the damage taken by the target. This may also leave the target with a burn. So it's like a better Mega Drain. Just not 100% accuracy. Yeah. Interesting. I'll swap those out. Uh, yeah, we could probably do that, Casey. I'd like to get the decks filled up. Oh! Um, we... Let me, let me get a few more things here. And then I think I need to talk with that photographer lady. Um... To evolve Bullaby. Get to the top. What's up, Leewick? How are you? Hey, Ginger Avenger. Thank you so much for the sub for 35 months. I really appreciate it. How are you doing? And welcome, uh, welcome back. Glad we reacted to the Acolyte trailer. Aw, oh, yeah. I'm excited for more venturing into the High Republic for Star Wars. And, uh, hopefully we'll get into more of the, uh, books and comics and that lore as well. The trailer, we saw another trailer that was a little different than that one. And both of them look really good. Oh, I need Gligar to evolve. Bone Rush, sure. Um, Red Dark Pulse. I finished my shiny living decks in Scarlet, including the DLC. What? So you have one of every shiny of the Pokedex? That's really cool. I've, uh, I think I've done a living dex for a game or two before, but I don't think I've ever done a, uh, I've never done a shiny dex, that's for sure. Um, we did get a shiny on stream Saturday, right, guys? Um, what was it? It was a, it was a Riolu. We caught a shiny, uh, Riolu in the wild, which was really cool. All right, that should... Oh, I gotta use an item for him, don't I? What item does he use? Hmm. No, no, I want bag. Is it a claw? Is that what it is? You have to be holding a claw? Or something like that? Yeah, razor fang or something. Razor claw, razor fang, sharp claw. I don't think it's just a use item. I think he has to hold it when he evolves. 
I'm sure I have one. Not a dragon fang. Uh, I don't think it's that far down. I must have passed it. Hmm. Maybe I don't have one. Uh, let's sort by... <sighs> name? Is it gonna be under claw? It might be sh It might be a, an adjective board, I forget. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember if I picked one. I did pick one up in Platinum, I think. It's not just Claw. Do I play other games besides Pokemon? Uh, yeah. Um, usually what happens is we kind of have a rotation of uh, streamers. Right now, Calvin and I are both streaming. Um, and I've been meaning to get through the Pokemon DLC, and I just haven't had a chance yet to do it. Uh, last game I played was Spider-Man, I think. Is it Razor Fang? It has to be Claw, right? There's no way it's Razor Fang, is it? You need Razor Fang? Use it at night. But the sun's up. Dang it. I'll have to wait then. But I think it's Spider-Man was the last game I played. Um, and I'll, uh... I'll probably be playing something else again soon as well. Uh, what else is on my list? I haven't finished up... Um... I still want to go back into... Ooh, I like this. Grass goat. I still want to get back into Dark Souls. I haven't done that yet. Uh, there's also Horizon Zero Dawn, the sequel to that I haven't played yet. How do I make it night? Can I make it night? Oh, does... Does Lampant need just levels? Oh yeah, I need Dusclops too, don't I? Oops. Is it a stone? <gasps> mm. Ah, I got four of these. Let's get Chandelure at 86. You know what? I might take that. I might get rid of Mad Car Go. I might change around my, my team. Build it around this guy. Yeah, I'll have to wait till nighttime then, I guess. Is it nighttime in real life or nighttime in the game? Spirits burned up in its ominous flame lose, lose their way and wander this world forever. So sad. Awesome. Oh man. I need to find a Litwick. Hmm. I can find a Litwick over in, this, in the uh, forest. Alright. Let me make sure about my Pokedex here. So I need to find these bugs. Um, oh man, I need to get another Poliwhirl and turn it into Politoed. Ooh, Hoot Hoot, I have Hoot Hoot. I don't, I haven't seen an Ambipom. Or Apom? I think, it, I think it's Apom, maybe. Geodude, I can get you. Munchlax. Oh man, Lotad, Nosepass. Mind food. Dang, I have more than I thought. Who's this guy? Alright, Dusclops. Litwick. Hmm, I don't have a Clefairy. Um, 
my low tick and fee boss. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna fill this up today, but um, that's probably ogre. Yeah. And then the Ursa. And it looks like a Basculin, so. All right, well, let me just get a team here and we'll progress, I guess. Hmm. I want. I'm going to. I need to evolve that. I'm gonna just move the things I need to evolve that I know I have. Uh, where was? Hoo -hoo. Do I have dustclops? If I do, why is he? I have a sand slash. Why is he not? I need Lotad. Why is Dusclops not in the Pokedex? Dang it, you guys are in the way. Ooh, here's Munchlax. Some of these guys were not in my in the right box <clears throat> but yeah as far as other games and stuff I have a lot of other games I do want to play I just haven't been able to get to them yet and I hope to at some point um, just depends on the rotation and stuff we have of people streaming right now Calvin's been playing Hell Divers on Monday and Wednesday and I think he's been enjoying that a lot and then I'll move my Graveler over all right, I definitely need to evolve. Well, I don't need to evolve this guy. But at least these five down here I need to evolve right now. Not right right now, but... I think that's just levels. That's just levels. I think he's just levels. I feel like Munchlax has something else he needs to do, but I don't remember what it is. All right. Um, let me just swap out. Where's this guy? Ground and flying, water fighting, ghost and fire, ghost and grass, ground and ice. Water and dark. Water and flying. Water and flying and swap you out for this guy. He's level 67, he's a little low. Maybe I shouldn't change my team too much. I just really want Chandelure on it. I had Weezing. I had Shift Tree. Uh, I did not have you. Who do I have instead? I had Young Mega. I didn't have Gligar either. Who do I have instead of Gligar? I know I picked up Diplin, but I didn't have Diplin before. Huh. I don't know who I had. That's not a bad option here. I'm missing someone. Mad Cargo, that is who it was. Yeah, that was my team. That's who I had. And I moved this guy to the front. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Who was that? KC, thank you. All right. Let's, uh, I think we got to talk to the one lady over here about photography. Uh, I used to work out a lot, and then I fell off. Uh, a lot of it sometimes is, uh, just time in general, kids and whatnot. But yeah, I just kind of recently got back into it this year. I basically took last year off. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this lady has to say.
You actually caught over 150 Pokemon from the Kitakami Pokedex. Oh, is that all I needed? Now I know you're the real deal. Not that much. No need to act modest, kiddo. You should be proud. You probably know more about the Pokemon here in Kitakami than I do. And I got here first. Which reminds me. I've got a favor to ask you. See, a real Pokemon catching pro like you is just what I need. What kind of favor? Oh, did I tickle your curiosity? Glad you don't seem afraid to poke your head into new things. What? In that case, let me tell you what I'm all about. The reason I came here to Kitakami was actually to find a certain Pokemon and photograph it. I've been searching on my own for ages, but I still haven't found it. So, kiddo, how about doing me a solid by helping me with my search? I'd owe you forever. Rumor has it that the Pokemon I'm looking for is pretty ferociously strong. Just think, you could catch it and bring it along on your adventures. Wouldn't that be helpful? Is that enough to pique your interest? If so, I'll need you to prove you're strong enough to help. If we're really going to partner up on this thing, then I want to know you're cut out for it. We got a battle, and I want to get a good shot of you looking all heroic and everything. Okay. Oh, we got a fight. Okay. Alright, Perrin. Time for me to take the perfect shot. It's your confidence, that is. Ready to show me what you've got? Alright, let's do it. Alright. We're gonna battle. I'm not so strong, but don't hold back and don't mind me snapping a few shots while we're at it. Alright. I wonder if she's gonna have only like she has the Growlithe, the Hisuian. I wonder if she's gonna have Hisuian Pokemon. This is a way of having a little bit more of a nod to that's a knockdown. Never mind. Yanmega is probably faster than Knockdown, right? Now, oh, and I got a good lead. Let's just U-turn. That way we can do a little damage, and we'll swap into Magargo. Oh, I could have just killed it. That was a serious hit. I nearly dropped my camera in shock. Go to Magcar Go and hit it with an Ancient Power. No! Dang, I'm asleep. I can probably take hits from this, though. Right? Flamethrower would kill it, probably. No, Dream Eater! I was worried about a flying move. What's up, Voodoo? How are you? I'm just gonna eat my dreams for a minute. Wake up! Ancient power. This is, DLC's been okay. Um, <clears throat> it hasn't had as much variations that I've been hoping for or anything. You better not put me to sleep again. Um, let's try flamethrower and see what happens. He roosted. They only have two Pokemon. What well, ancient power this time? Yeah, and I'm almost to the, uh, that doesn't do any damage. Just flamethrower it a few times till it dies. Alright, I'll swap. Dang, snail. It's too slow! If I swap now, he's gonna Dream Eater and it won't work because I'm not asleep. So... 
Hmm. Let's bring out Mammo and Ice Shard. Actually, no. Yeah, well, Ice Shard. Will he Hypnosis again this time? What happens? Man, cargo, go! Ha ha! Gotcha! I'm just gonna try hitting him with a flying move and seeing if that works. <clears throat> I bet he Dream Eaters again. Good Tailwind. Let's Air Slash. Oh, it's not strong enough. Hypnosis. Oh, he flinched! That should be good, right? Um, I think I can Air Slash him to death. Hopefully he flinches. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, Alethion? I'll keep current. I'm gonna bug buzz it to death. Alethion. I love its tail. Taking pictures of herself getting whooped. <laughs> Thought she said that one would be tougher. And she lied. Now that's a keeper. And we got some money. You're something, all right. I got a bunch of good shots of you in action, too. I think you just might have what it takes to hold your own against the Blood Moon Beast. Sounds terrifying. Yeah, there's a certain Ursaluna I've been searching for. It's known as the Blood Moon Beast. Have you ever heard of Ursaluna? Word is they weren't all that uncommon a long, long time ago. See, Ursaluna is a Pokemon that usually has this big yellow mark on its forehead resembling a full moon, but they say this one's mark is red. A red moon, as if seen through a veil of blood. That's why they call it the Blood Moon Beast. Ursaluna, the Blood Moon Beast, used to live in my homeland way back when people still called the region Hiswi. Seems like it crossed over the waters here to Kitakami at some point and made itself comfy. Okay, so like it just traveled here and has been here for a long time? Or the two of us work together, I bet we could be the ones to finally find and snap a shot at it. <clears throat> and if we do... Kiddo? No, not Kiddo. Partner! Let's tackle this together so we can find the Blood Moon Beast for sure. Alright, let's go capture this thing. I knew you'd be up for it, and don't worry, I'll be sure to reward your hard work. Word has it the Blood Moon Beast has been seen in an area northeast of Oni Mountain called the Timeless Woods. Hey, I wanted to go there look for Litwick. I'll head that way and wait for you there. Cool. Come on, Growlithe. Alpha, alpha hairdo. Uh, it. I think it just kind of gave me this. All right, let's stop by and heal. Just to be safe. And then we'll save. We'll head that way. Uh, probably not right now. Moon, Moon Chris. I'll uh. 
I'll probably try to make progress on this for now, and then I might try to do raids later. But I also have another DLC I want to get into as well. Unless you find a raid that will give me a uh, one of my Pokedex entries, maybe. I need a Snorlax. I could find that instead of trying to grind up friendship. All right, let's. We gotta go here. <coughs> Alright, let's go, Ogre Pond. Cover those coats. Keep an eye out for bugs. We need. Nope. We need bugs. Oh, Ekans. Not that bug. Yeah, I saw the Brute Bonnet and the Iron Hands one. I might try to get Iron Hands. That might be good for me to get. I know I have Iron Hands, but... I didn't grab this. Get a shot. But this one probably has better IVs than whatever I got. I think the one I have might have just been a trade. Though I think I also... I think someone gave me a shiny one once. Jump. All right, we gotta go. Let's just grab this LP while we're here and then head over there. Oh, did they, Rookie? Did the Iron Hands come in handy? Grass. Matcha. Yeah, it's right here. What do we got over here? Uh, Trevenant. Alright, where's... Perrin? Perrin? Oh, I think we just found her. Taking a picture of Poliwhirl, okay. <laughs> Is this a random Pokemon? Yes, look at you, you clever thing. Lovely. Now hold that pose for just a sec. Yes, that's my little cutie pie. <clears throat> wow, look at you. I didn't even know you could pull off that kind of expression. So photogenic. You're just too adorable, you know that? I could eat you right up. I'll just this go for it if I just keep letting her do her thing. What's this? An extra ser serving of cuteness? Just for me? Don't mind if I do. More! I need more! Someone give me some extra storage. And a napkin, too. Napkin. You need a napkin. Oh, hey, partner. You made it. How long have you been standing there? You weren't uh, listening in on all that stuff. I... Nope. Don't want to know. Forget I asked. Politoed raid. Oh, man, I need Politoed. Anyway, uh, of course, where people supposedly seen the Blood Moon Beast. Curiously, all the sightings have been on nights with heavy fog. Whoa! That looks sweet. In fact, I've heard that all kinds of unusual Pokemon appear on foggy nights. I'm sure that the Blood Moon Beast is one of them. It's gotta be. What uh, terror type is it for the Politoed? Oh, is that my little cutie pie back for another photo shoot? Nope, no, it's not. Yeah! 
ow, ow, ow. Ooh, go, Growlithe. Better lend a hand. Kiki ki All right, let's fight this area. Is. I wanted the Growlithe to fight. Just cook it. Let's give it a little air slash. Shabu. Yeah, that happens to me all the time, Anarista. Ow, that really surprised me. My camera's okay, though. Thanks, partner. Bow wow. All right. And thanks to you two, of course. I feel a bit bad for that area dose. It probably wasn't expecting to see humans out here. I bet it only attacked because it was surprised. We should set up a tent. That'll let Pokemon know we're here to help them get used to us. That we're here to help them and get used to it. Yeah, the lobster Pokemon. What's up guys on Poke or Pokemonality chat? Oh, we get a cool little bitty tent with a little Pokeball. All right, all right. Now what? She may be old, but she's got it where it counts. It's actually my dad's, but he wasn't using it, so I just helped myself to it. Say hello to our new base of operations for our survey of the Blood Moon Beast. <clears throat> Now, the Blood Moon Beast is way more wary than an ordinary Pokemon. That's why there have been so few sightings, or so they say. That means we're going to need to do some slow and steady groundwork if we want to find it. If we want to find it. So, partner, what I'm going to need is help with the most is photographing Pokemon. I want you to take photos of the Pokemon that appear around here on foggy nights. Oh, I gotta take pictures? I'm looking for lots of pictures of a good variety of Pokemon. Afterward, I'll register your photo data into my handy Pokemon searcher. Wait, are we doing Pokemon Snap? Over time, that'll train it to ignore any sign of other Pokemon that live around here. Clearing all that noise will let us pinpoint exactly where the Blood Moon Beast is. Okay. Um, I think Violet or Scarlet base is 400, I think. But I'd have to look in the Pokedex. Whoa, you actually understood that? <clears throat> I was just rattling off what the manual said. I picked this thing up at a thrift shop. I don't really understand how it's supposed to work. My preliminary surveys make me think there are... Make me think there are actually dozens of Pokemon species that tend to show up around the forest on foggy nights. I mean, split the load. So how about you try to snap photos of 10 species of Pokemon for me? How about it, partner? If we tackle this together, I'm sure we'll find the Blood Moon Beast. Oh, and we're looking for clear photos that get the Pokemon nice and big in the frame. You'll want to sneak up on foot to get close to them. No riding on big, noisy Pokemon. Think you're ready? Just say the word. Once you're good, we can set, it, set up in the tent and wait for a foggy night. Well... Yeah, let's, uh, I mean, who knows how long till we get a foggy night? Could be days. Let's, uh, set up inside. Then let's hang in the tent until the weather gets nice and foggy. wonder how long it took. Looks like this is about as good as it's gonna get. All right, partner, get out there and survey. Ooh. All right. Aw, <coughs> oh, man, I can't do... I was hoping to be able to, like, uh, do my Gligar evolution, but it won't let me. I get closer. Dang. I could. All right. Huh. 
Uh, we did react to a trailer today. I think it's up already. How close can I get? I feel like that's pretty good, right? Real easy to mistake it for a tree in this fog. This is great. I knew you were the right person for the job. Well, keep up the good work. I've got nothing but high hopes for you, partner. All right. Well, we got one. Okay. So I can't get much closer there. Maybe I can. Another pseudo budo. I need. To... I want to find more Pokemon, right? Not just pseudo budos. I see a lot of pseudo budos though. Ooh, what's that? Geodude? That's not a great photo. I need a better picture. Can I get closer from the side or behind? It doesn't seem like it. it. Doesn't seem like I can get. There's like a radius. It seems like I can be in. No. Let's stay outside the radius this time. That's good. Come on, do your action. Alright. This is a rock Pokemon, Geodude. You've got to be careful. You might trip over this fella. You really take great photos, partner. Have you tried turning your eyes upward, too? Maybe this Pokemon looking in the trees. <gasps> I didn't even look upward. Got nothing but high hopes for you. Ooh, well, that cave. It's probably either Pokemon or Tony Stark in here. Or a big old blood monster. Ooh, okay. Thinking how close we can get here. All right, look at me again. Come on. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Perfect. All right, Pokemon that don't sit still. Hey, there we go. Some Pokemon up in the trees. All right. Let's see. That's the Acorn Pokemon C dot. Per per pretty easy to mistake it for a berry or something. You've got a real knack for this sort of thing. Northwest part of the forest. Okay. Those guys don't even run away. All right. Um, Got to keep eyes open for Pokemon. It's like a mixture between Safari Zone and Pokemon Snap, you know? Oh, here we go. Here we go. He's coming right for us. 
Don't you, don't you disappear on me. Ha-ha! Just in time! The Requiem Pokemon Duskull. It makes quite an impression on a dark night like this. So it looks like you've got a real good handle on how to take photos by now, huh? I bet you even know that some Pokemon are so wary they'll run if you get too close. But yeah. What we got over there? Another C-Dot? Yep. Another Duskull. Hmm. We got five more Pokemon. We got ten so far. <gasps> Litwick! Dang, I need to capture this guy. Can I get a little bit of a hill? Go to shoot down at it, maybe? She was just taking the picture. There's a Litwick, I think, over there. Man, I don't like all the grass in the way. I want a good picture. I hide in this bush. The Landit Cave. Oh, Vicar Vault. Look at him. Do your move. The Stag Beetle Pokemon Vicavolt. Those huge jaws it has make uh, for a real killer photo. You're getting real practice at catching Pokemon out and about in their daily lives. I guess you could even catch Pokemon up in the trees searching for their next meal. Alright, let's go find the ones by the water they talked about. Oh, hey. <laughs> Does this count? Aw, oh, you took Growlithe for me, you sweetie. I mean, sure, it's no help at all for the survey, but I still love to see his photos. All right, dang. All right, I was trying. There's Suda Wudo. Ah, oh, there's Litwick. All right, we'll stop at the range about right here. Man, I, it, I'll just do that. I want his face, but I can't see his face. Can a Pokemon Litwick? Seeing those little lights floating in the dark is otherworldly, huh? I bet there are still some more Pokemon hiding in the forest you haven't photographed yet. Well, keep up the good work. I've got nothing but high hopes for you, partner. Alright, what else we got around here? String spit Pokemon Spinarak. Do you think it's trying to spin up a new web in the trees? I bet there are still some more Pokemon hiding in the forest you haven't photographed yet. Is that another Spinarak over there or something else? It doesn't look green. Yeah, but it's green. Dude, can you find shiny Pokemon in this? That'd be kind of cool. Um, Duskull. Oh, over here's the water. Hopefully we can find like two more Pokemon by the water. What's that? Oh, uh, Hatterene? There's two of them there. Dang! 
Dang it. This is where I wanted to stop too. Because I wasn't sure if the bushes would be in my way or not. Ah, that would have been a good one. Ooh, an army of low tags. The more Pokemon you get in the shot, the more points you get. Water weed Pokemon low tag. Now that's just good life, just floating around like that. Oh man, if I could have gotten the uh, Tyanimo, I'd have been done. Here we go. Are you gonna land? Hoot hoot. You gonna fly more? Yeah, let me get you flying. That'd be cool. You're gonna fly over here next? Oh, Adarine, no. I'm gonna hope it's gonna fly this way next. Come on, hoot hoot, come back. Hoot hoot, come back. Ha ha! Yeah. Always want to get a shot of it switching the foot it stands on. Hey, you can see both feet in this picture. It has two feet. Look. Awesome. You did it. A dark type golem raid. Uh, let me, if I can get out of this for a minute. Okay, so we just compiled the photos we both took. It looks like we photographed every Pokemon known to appear in the forest when it's foggy. We did it. We really pulled it off. I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Now we just need to send all our data over to the Pokemon Searcher. Wait, I guess it's supposed to take a little bit for all the data to be uh, processed or whatever. You know, the photos you took were all real good, partner. You got an eye for this. So, Spill, what were you thinking about most when you were taking those photos? Showing off their best sides. Trying to show off the Pokemon's best sides. So you try to capture those moments when your Pokemon, when your subject is really shining their brightest, huh? I, uh, I'm actually a bit in a slump myself. Even as a kid, even a kid like you knows what a slump is, right? Like, when nothing seems to go right for you. You might not believe it, but when I was younger, I was lauded as a photography prodigy. Everyone loved my photos. Absolutely everyone. But in these past few years, I feel like I've lost my spark. My photos show it. They lack heart. The awards have all dried up. The accolades, too. And the longer it keeps dragging on, the more I lose sight of what it is I even want to capture with my photos. That's when I heard the stories of the Blood Moon Beast. I left for Kitakami as fast as I could. I thought that if I could just get a photo of an astounding Pokemon like that, then maybe, just maybe, something inside me would change. It'll be okay. Thanks, partner. And sorry. I didn't mean to bring the whole mood down with my problems. Dingle dee dee doodle. Oh, I guess the machine's done doing its thing, but that jingle. I'm pretty sure that's the same one my dryer plays when it's done with a load. Haha, <laughs> too funny. Who decided to use that? Can you just give anything a jingle now? Anyway, if we filter out all of our data, it looks like there's still one hit out there in the foggy woods. That's gotta be the Blood Moon Beast. We finally found it. <laughs> this is it. You know, talking to you really helped me throw off some of that old tension. I think I'm ready to go meet the Blood Moon Beast. How about you, partner? You ready? Alright, that raid's full, then yes, we're ready! 
Yes, then we're off. It's finally time for me to capture Blood Moon Beast on film, that is. If things start to look dicey, I'll be counting on you to handle the battling partner. Grar! You too, of course, Growlithe. Now then, let's get going. No, there's something right there. Pick it up. Pick it up. That hit we got on the Pokemon Searcher came from somewhere around here. It's awfully quiet. Stay alert. Got it. comes something big are those footsteps whatever's making them must be huge oh my goodness does does it walk around on all fours it has one eye darker than the other he looks kind of mean it's got a red moon on its forehead it's the blood moon beast it's it's real we actually found it Right, my camera. Now, you just be a good little beast and stay right there while I snap a photo. Oh no, you're gonna make it mad. S sorry, the auto flash just. All right, time to battle. Ralph, you ready? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be either. Sounds like that's a no. How about you, partner? Hey, over here, big guy. Sorry, and thanks. You've got this. All right, you get your pictures. Now, I assume I can capture this, right? It has a boss title, though, so maybe I can. Okay, so I can't catch it. Yeah, okay. Like, should I throw a Pokeball, or is this the thing I come back to later? What typing is this? Maybe do a U-turn on it? I thought Ursul. Oh, that's any way of it. I thought Ursaluna did a. Uh, ooh, what do I want to use? Hmm. Let's sw try swapping into Mad Cargo and Smoke Screen. Maybe. use smoke screen earth power no okay good job holding on because of love don't miss don't miss oh he has mind's eye he can't be lowered e. all right well um i think this guy's gonna die maybe we can acid armor him if he does something else use blood moon Okay, it was not very effective to rock and fire. Alright, let's Yon Mega and use Tailwind. Tailwind. Give us a little speed. Calm mind again, eh? Let's swap in. Hmm. 
Ooh. Can we hypnosis him and put him to sleep? Drain Punch might be good. Let's try Polyrath. What does Blood Moon do? Oh, good job. Good block. Or whatever. Uh, what if I can put it to sleep? Let's try it. Avoid the attack. Keep using Calm Mind. I'm gonna use Drain Punch. Alright, what kind of typing is Blood Moon? Is it super effective? It wasn't super effective, but it was strong. I might toxic him, maybe. Oh, I can see the ground, quit. Calm mind a lot. All right, yeah, I'm going to U turn into Weezing, who should nullify that, I think. Whereas Calm Mind shouldn't be as effective, right? What to do? While the Pokemon's in battle, the effects of all other Pokemon's abilities will be. Oh, it's that, not stats. Dang. Um. Hmm. I wish I had. I want to just try again. Just try Earthquake. Hmm, he's been boosting his special attack. I wonder if I boost my special defense. I assume Blood Moon is a special attack, right? Maybe I can buff my special defense and tank more hits with uh, Mamo? Dang, it hits hard. Let's do Weezing. Let's try Toxic first, maybe. Ah, oh, he Earth Powered. Okay. Well, at least I got my Toxic off. Tailwind, he's probably gonna Blood Moon. He's gonna call mine, okay. J 
Should have started with wheezing, maybe. Um, I could possibly... What does he have? I'll probably use Leaf Blade. It doesn't matter if I lower his special defense. Let's just see if I can make him flinch. You didn't hurt me too bad there. Ooh, is he out of the Blood Moon one? The new expression is wonderful. There's so much good stuff to capture. Ah, uh, there we go. He flinched. Yeah, that poison's ticking away more and more. Um, I'll try to Tailwind one more time. I know I'm faster, but if I switch over to Shift Tree at the end of this, I want to be able to like do more damage. I might as well keep with this if I can get a flinch out of him. That helps. All right, one more flinch. And the next poison should do a lot. Okay. Yeah, and it doesn't let me catch him at all. Okay. Uh, bug buzz. I really thought he was going to destroy Yon Mega, uh, but he must have ran out of... Maybe it's only 5 PP for Blood Moon. It did hit pretty hard. There we go. Blood Moon Beast is weak. Now is your chance to catch it, partner. Oh, it's just like a Terror Raid. Sweet! Um, ooh, what kind of kind of thing? Dusk ball, maybe? Is there a moon ball? I don't think I have a moon ball if there is. I think I'm gonna throw a dusk ball. It's a Pokedex entry now, right? Ground in normal. It crossed the sea and drifted ashore in a new land. Surviving in this place led it to take on a unique appearance and gain special powers. What level is he? Yeah, put him on my team. Ground in normal? Um, I guess you, Mamo. Sweet. You okay, partner? I didn't seriously think you'd go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Blood Moon Beast, let alone catch it. That was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Luxury Ball? I could have done that, I guess. You got to work on those nerves a bit, bud. Ha, huh, but my heart is still beating a mile a minute. What a thrill. I just couldn't stop snapping photos of you battling the Blood Moon Beast. I bet you want to give your Pokemon a chance to rest and recover, though, huh, partner? Let's head back to camp for now. Yeah.
Packing up the old tent and calling it a day feels a bit sad. Like the end of an adventure. I couldn't have done this without you, partner. Because of you, I finally feel like I have some photos here that I want to keep forever. It's been ages since I've felt this way. Seriously. I love Ogre Pond just back there in the woods. Just, I'm just doing my own thing. And now that I'm all motivated, it's time to ride this feeling and seize the day. Heading back to the village this instant to get those photos developed. As we always say in my family, time wasted is lost. So I'm not wasting any more time. Let's meet again in Mosul. Alright. Am I still here then? Can I find a Litwick? I'd love to find a Litwick. What level is, uh... 70, okay. What's up? Look at these guys. Um, probably need to be nighttime. Mimikyu. <gasps> the Snorlax at the cave! And all my Pokemon are alive! Awesome, okay. Ha -ha! Now I'll have a Snorlax! Uh, let's try Quick Ball and see if it works. Quick Ball! Please, please, please. Yeah! Cool. Now I don't need to evolve Munchlax. I like that they have him at the entrance of the, of the cave. That's really cool. Gluttonous Pokemon eats constantly apart from when it's asleep. It devours nearly 900 pounds of food per day. We are making progress on this Pokedex. What's in here? <gasps> Masterpiece teacup. That is a lot of food. 900 pounds a day. Water's over here. I want to see if there's anything near the water that we could. I don't know if we've been here before. Hey! I need you. Yeah, you've been missing. Quick ball, go. Sweet, good, good. Put it in my Pokedex. Huh. Oh. Wait, how do I... Can I turn it into Basque Legion? Is that what that is? How do I do that? Is it just levels? Ooh, an ice type chandelier array. That sounds cool. Oh no! I don't want to fight you! Uh, I've never noticed that. 
You just jump away like that? Alright, how do I... And Tom's... can only evolve White Stripe Basket Legion. Which one did I get? This is White Stripe, right? So I have to get it to take 294 damage and recoil. But he only has 186 HP. He has a lot of recoil moves. All right, let's try to get Basket Legion. Um, all right, which one of these give? Both of these do. This one does too. All of these do all of these do that? This one doesn't. <clears throat> does it, have to, it doesn't have to be in one attack one battle, does it? That'd take a bit. Alright, I was damaged a little bit there. I should heal up. I assume I can heal here. I guess I should have just used a super potion. They're about the same. I don't use potions very often. I can probably take a hit or two, maybe. Alright, what are we at now? 35. Dang, what were we at before? See, if I do two of these, what's in front of me at? 90? No, counter! Use super potions, save hyper potions for when I'm in battle. I figure green would just kind of be tanky, not you'd have counter. Um, while I'm doing this.
think all these guys just need levels, so let me let them get some XP while I battle random thingies to get Basculin involved. Alright. Uh, you! Don't. Not very effective. Oh, head smash will work. How much health is that? Yeah, I can do another hit. Hit, um... This guy. Intimidate. Wave crash. Then headbutt. No, wave crash might kill me. I better heal. Head smash always works. Head heads are the most dangerous weapons. But oh, dang, man. Okay. Avoid Stantlers. No, I can't get away! Alright, Phantoms seem okay. What else did I battle? He's so big. Wait, what just happened? this guy. Um, double edge. Alright, he has 46 damage there. I just heal him up. Maybe it might be easier to keep track. Okay, not Stantler. I'm sure I can wave crash full picks, no problem. I think. Uh, is that a little spider? Yeah, a little spider. I'll kill a little spider. Head smash! Oh, we're at 168 right now? Hopefully we can do it before we evolve. Uh, what we got now? Uh, another 70? <laughs> so, 
So at, we're at least at what 70 plus one, uh, 96, so 166 right now at least. Uh, maybe I'm missing one of the attacks. I don't want to battle Mimikyu. Maybe fight this bug. Then with the rock move. We're at least 166 at a minimum. That was, uh... I don't know what it was. Okay, so it's like another 80, 82. Um... How many? How much do I need? I'll do one more. I think I need one more. Kill this brother. Hit him with a head smash. We're so close to leveling. We'll just do one more battle just to be safe. I ain't taking out one more thing. Should guarantee. As long as I don't pick something dumb. A Vulpix with a wave crash should be a random retreat. This works out, it should give me the XP I need, and I should have enough uh, recoil damage. I think, because I was almost level. There's the level, and I should be good. Yeah, sweet. I'm glad they gave this guy an evolution. It's cool to get Basket Legion, though. Pokemon is cloaked in the souls of its comrades who perish during a punishing journey to the river of their birth. Sweet. Alright, and then how close are we with any other XPs? Low tad should be close, right? Um, what's a medium do? Three thousand. That might get um might get him. Hoot hoot. <laughs> All right, and then nose pass. Yeah, we can do him. And I'll throw a large uh, on uh, whoever they got with. Very good. Was it a large on Lotad? He needs to evolve. Once and then I is his a stone too after he levels? Does he need like a water stone or a leaf stone? I don't remember what Ludicolo needs. It could just be it could just be leveling. Ludicolo's I like Ludicolo a lot. All right, let's go grab the Thunderstone. Where are my stones at? All right, sun, moon, fire, thunder, water, water stone, and a Thunderstone. Sweet, so let's use a Thunderstone. 
You get a pro bass. Pro boss? Pro. Hmm, no pro pass? Robo pass? Robo pass. Controls three units called mini noses using magnetic force. With them, it can attack a foe from three directions. Such a weird Pokemon. Uh, try attack? Uh, maybe get rid of. I don't know. Just don't worry about it. Probably not gonna use you anyway, Probo Pass. I'm sorry. Alright, and then we'll use a Water Stone. Get Ludicolo. Ooh, I wouldn't mind doing a Politoed raid. Yeah. Dude, Ludicolo's great. There are structures throughout its whole body that produce energy when hit by sound waves with a cheerful rhythm. Huh. Alright, that's all of them evolved. Um, let me connect to the internet too. If you're doing that, Anna. Because then it saves me from having to use a stone and... Look at that. Brute. Uh, yeah, I could see what's the uh, the violet ones. That'll help me not to know not to look for other stuff. What's this? There he does, ghost. I'm gonna go up here and hide right here. They're hiding. They're all here getting me anyway. A golem raid too. Ugh. Trying to find a nice little place to chill for a second. Take a vault. Timer ball. That's a good, I like that one. All right. Uh, yeah. Let me do this. Poke portal. Um, I think I go here, right? And put in the code. I haven't joined one in a while. Usually, I've been hosting them. Do Avalug. All right. Let's see here. Two. P. S. Eight zero. All right, and this is what is it? Psychic? Who should I be? Hum. Everyone else gonna be how many stars it shouldn't be too hard right I think this guy only has fighting moves yes guys only 79 golden boy be good Bug Terror for the Golem? Okay. Let me see if I had anyone with a dark terror typing. I don't really. I 
He doesn't have any dark type moves. I might go with, uh... Where was it? No, nope, not you. I might just go with... Let's see, it's five stars. I think we'll be okay. I could have went King Gambit, but he didn't have any. He didn't have any dark. He just had steel moves. Might have still been okay, maybe. Ooh, shiny. That's cool. Let's cheer and go all out. Help make everyone stronger. Ooh, can't encore me. Gosh darn it. We'll do one more go all out. I'll give my heal as well. Yeah, Scarada looks a little low. And try to give everyone a little, little boost. Gives more time to do sword dances and stuff too. Yeah, he just digivolved, the Baba. The digivolution. Yay! Thank you, guys, for the polytoad. Uh, two ability capsules, sweet. Awesome. Polly Wag and Polly Whirl here at Echoing Cry. They respond by gathering from far and wide. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I'll do the Golem thing, Jack. Let me join in with that. Thank you guys for the help on the uh, Pokedex. Alright, what is it? Q H Y C F W 
Hmm. Wait, what typing is he? Maybe I will go with Annihilate this time. I can just punch it a bunch. So I don't have his one ghosty move on this guy. But that's fine. I want to use fighting moves probably anyway. And I think I have drain punch too to help keep me alive. So this should work. <clears throat> yeah, Rage Fist is nice, Casey. What are you doing, Dababa? Do a go all out to everybody. I don't know why I was thinking about his rock typing being better, not his bug typing being not as good. Silly. Should have went with fire. Yeah, I like the crocodile. Uh, heal everybody. Don't die, everybody. There we go. Oh. I think... I think a couple people healed. Right, I'm gonna drain punch now. Yeah, I think, like... Three people healed there. Like, you know what? We need to heal. Torch song? Is that what that was? Yeah, you can shiny hunt in this one, I think. Still works the same, I believe. Uh, maybe a little different. And to help with searching for the ones you want, you can do sandwiches to give you time for finding specific things. Uh, yeah, we're doing we're doing raids with a few other uh, viewers to help me get uh, a few Pokemon uh, Pokedex entries that I'm missing. Pea candy, big pearls, black berries. Awesome. All right, now look, now I can check my Pokedex and see where we're at. A Palm and more Peko. Are those trades, Casey? Or is it raids? Yes, trades. Okay. Uh, I can find something to trade. Is there anything you need? Link tree, link tree, link trade. The trade evos, uh, who do I have for the trade evos? We just did a couple, right? Um, Is no, no, a palm and am, am a palm. 
And then what's this one? The bugs. No, I don't think I have any trade evos. I think the only one is, uh, depends if I have Dusclops. I think he's a trade. Yeah, I don't have Dusclops or Dusk Noir, so I need to capture one of them. I need it to be night. How do I get it to be night? Sun, go away. I need to go find ghost Pokemon. I've been waiting all night. That sun's been there. It hasn't moved. Look at it. I'm gonna put my head on it. Watch. Here we go. Go away, Lucario. Unless you want to be friends. What do you want? What? Maybe he wants me to capture him. Alright, link trade. Set link code. What's link code gonna be? He knows about the shiny Riolu, that might be it. About one, seven, nine, three. Uh, one, seven, nine, three. Is that good? Is that a good one? Hi, I just subbed on YouTube. Thank you, Ray. Thank you so much. All right. That looks right. Let's see. What do I have to trade? Have, are these guys? What were these guys at? These guys are like five perfect IVs. These ones were not as good. This is pretty good except for his attack. Except for his defense. Except for his special defense. Have a Growlithe. You already have your Pokedex filled, Casey? Just found a Dusclops raid? Alright. That Lucario's like, what is going on here? I have not found a Feeboss yet. And for some reason, I can't find Illumise or... What's the other one of them? It's not Carablast, is it? Here you go, have a Shroomish. More Pekko! Bulby, that's right. I, I'm trying to get it to be night. It won't be night. I want it to be night. If it could just turn night, I'd capture everything here. Do I have to, like, just run around the world and wait for it to be night? Is that what happens? Like, all time pauses otherwise? It was night and it was foggy when I got the, the moon bear, Ursaluna, and now it's not. S skip back to day. Uh, sure, moon. Is there anything you need for the Feeboss? More Pekko. Bye, Shroomish. That was one of the ones from when I was working on the NAIC uh, tournament. If it's hungry for too long, it grows wild and brutish. Like the Baba.
Thank you, KC. Alright. Uh, let me change this code, I guess. Alright, Moon. We'll do, um... Hmm... One three nine seven. One three nine seven. Quite clever. All right, then we'll hopefully get it to be night. We're gonna take ogre back. We'll walk ogre back. Hopefully to turn night while we walk ogre back, and then we can try to uh, get the night time maybe. Or go get the other Pokemon I haven't gotten. Dang, it's already 8. Time goes so quick. Oh yeah, what was the raid? I forgot. Uh, it was a... Dusclops, right? That'd be nice. It would save me from the trades. What happened? 1397. 1397. Is Dust Noir. Dust Clops. One of them. Yeah, Dust Clops are the Reaper Cloth. I found a Reaper Cloth. Are you around, Moon? Oh, you're not online? Let me know when you're good, and I'll hit the search button again. I hate that my YouTube uh, chat keeps, like, being refreshed. Like, I don't... I keep losing it. Are you good, Moon? Let me hit this button. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you would do in the Pokey Portal without being online. Like, it's weird that it doesn't just do that. Um, and there's nothing specifically you needed, Moon? Docile Shroomish? Evas. Thank you, Moon. many Growlithes, yeah. Shroomish and Growlithe were ones that I had to, uh, I had to breed a lot of when I was trying to make my team. Alright. I think we're down to Volbeat and Illumise and, um, Melotic. So here's uh, I think that one's Volbeat, and I think this one's Illumis. Maybe it's the other way around. That might be Volbeat. But I'm pretty sure I saw one of these guys at some point during the day. I just, I'm not seeing them now. Um, 
I need to evolve a palm, which I think needs an item. Um, Gligar, I need it to be night. Uh, Mind Fu, oh, I have a Mind Fu somewhere. I think he just levels up. The Dusks, I need to get a Litwick. Um, and then Clefairy and Cleffa and Clefable. Melotic. And these guys. They gave me a Reaper Claw. Is that a Heavy Ball? Yeah, it is. What's up, Deadpool? How are you? Let's see what I've got in my boxes. I need... Man, there was someone, I'm like, I have them. No, I wore glasses before. Before Blind Wave. Um, I have a palm. I have Fee Boss. Mind Fu, yeah, that's what it was. Where's Mind Fu at? I know I caught a Mind Fu. I wonder if he got put in a weird box. He might have. Uh, there he is. Yep, you got put into there. That's not where you go. Bull beat and Luma eyes, yeah. Uh, he's already 62, so he should be no problem for Mind Fu. Uh, Apom, if I... He already has double hit, so I think I just need to evolve him too. So let me just do both of those. Do a large candy for him. Not quite enough. A medium candy for him. Alright, and I think he'll evolve. Yeah, catching these guys in the DLC, they're like real high level flying. It's crazy. I've been watching YouTube mostly, the Star Wars reaction stuff. Must have got lost in my head that you Pokemon to. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mine Foo looks so cool. Wait. Mine Shao? Has that always been the name? My shadow lets out a bizarre wail. You're in danger. A flurry of kicks and chops too fast to see is about to be unleashed. The color seems weird. Is the color weird? Has that always been that color? Um, and then let me do the Apom. Yeah, we have. We also have a, a Star Wars channel specifically and a Pokemon channel specifically as well. So if you're interested in either of those two things, we try to put all that content on their own channels. Has it always been purple and white? The color just seems weird. Be interested in both, but not either or. <laughs> okay. Well, you can pick both as well. I know uh, not everyone's interested in uh, Pokemon and or Star Wars. Alright, well, there's them. 
And that puts me at a point where I'm gonna try to... Oh, there's a, I have another reward. So I'm at, am I at 190? Oh, no, I'm not, you lied to me. All right, so we got four there, five, six with the bugs. Uh, seven with Gligar, eight, nine, ten with Clefairy, I believe. Nope, with Dusclops and Dust Noir. Uh, 11 with Litwick. This is Clefairy. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think we're at 15. Yeah, that seems about right. All right. Have you still just been sitting here waiting? All right, you know what? Join me. You have been waiting for so long, you must want to be one of my members of my Pokemon box. He lost just at level 20. And learn tackle. Good job, Pivas. All right, go get in the go in the box. All right, let's take Ogre Pond back. Maybe by then, that sun will have moved. Watch out for the bug. Legar. Maybe on the route we'll find uh, some Pokemon we need to capture. Wait. Why is a... Uh... Okay, that's why. It was just my destination. It wasn't actually where I needed to go. Keep an eye open for any bugs that I need. Dang it. Yeah, I was thinking because I think uh, I was thinking there was something different with Feeboss at some point, like friendship or something along those lines. But now it's just a train. Yeah, that sounds about right, Casey. I think I saw a Volbeat or... Yeah, I think it was a Volbeat. Like, way early in my playthrough. I don't think I've seen one since. But I'm pretty sure it was during the day. Alright. Ogre Land. Let's see what happens when we take Ogre Pond back. Alright, Ogre Pond. Bye! Well, here we are. bit lonely out there, but I guess this place must mean a lot to Ogre Pond. Take care, okay, Ogre Pond? Oh, no! <gasps> Do you want to just come with me? Hey, you know what? I think Ogre Pond might want to go with you, Aaron. 
pun pun pun. Poor Kieran. Hey, hold up. Oh no, do I gotta battle you? If it's not gonna stay here, then I I wanna I want Ogre Pond to come with me. Iki. I know I'm being real selfish, but Aaron, please. Let me battle you. I want to see which one of us should keep Ogre Pond with them. Dang it, I don't have my team team with me. I got a Feeboss at level 21. Hey, Kiki. I know you really love Ogre Pond. I really honestly understand. But you have to think about Ogre Pond's feelings, too. I want to battle anyway. But let me know once you're ready. Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> I was worried there for a second. I'm like, I don't want to use a 21 level B boss against his level who knows what. All right, let's -a go to the boxes and swap out B boss. We don't want you here. Uh, Amber Palm, we probably don't want you. Knocked out, we probably don't want you. Um, we can keep the big bear. He's probably okay. Um, Mag Cargo might be all right to have. Mm. What moves you know? Hammer Arm, Belly Drum, Belch, and Giga Impact. Let's just take Pop. Let's just swap in my team I had. We'll get rid of Versa Luna, I guess. What else did I had? I had Weezing. I had Shift Tree. And I had. Huh. Maybe we'll take this Lucario who really, really wanted to be on the team. As opposed to, uh. Mamo. That's who it was, huh? Let's take Mamo instead of Weezing. Meteor Mash, Dragon Pulse, Extreme Speed, and Close Combat. Those are pretty good moves. We should revive Mamo. Were you getting a little worried there, Rookie? Were you scared for your bacon? Just a little bit more XP on Lucario. I don't know what level all of his guys are going to be necessarily, but most of my guys are around 75, so I might try to just get him up to that or so. There we go. That should be fine. All right. You ready, Kieran? Let's save. I don't know when the last time we saved was. Probably sometime around the uh, trades. Alright. Let's go, Kieran. You brought that Lucario just for fun. Hopefully we didn't need Weezing. Weezing's Destiny Bond, I think, saved me one time. Well then, let's get started. wins gets to be Ogre Pond's partner. So don't you dare hold back. Uh, so we still battle, but we aren't going to take into account what Ogre Pond wants. Okay. Alright, Kieran. Very well. He's got a shift tree too! My bug buzz should be good here, right? I know you're probably a better trainer for Ogre Pond, but I... I... Bug Buzz! Dude, he's only 71. Oh no, fake out! Ah, uh, fake out. 
Bug Buzz. Oh, he's not dead. He hung on with love. You're not holding back. Thank you, but I won't hold back either. Oh, he had a uh, focus sash. Good job, Yonmega. Alright, let's uh, air slash. Robo pass, huh? <coughs> <coughs> Alright, Mamo, you up? Let's have you do an earthquake. No, wait, maybe he has levitate. Robo pass doesn't have levitate, does he? I mean, he literally floats, though. Let's try it. Almost there, but he's sturdy, and he ate a berry. <coughs> we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're not good. <coughs> all right, all right. Um, the guy who will take him next is gonna be Lucario. He's gonna hit him with an extreme speed because he doesn't have much health left. <laughs> Good job, Lucario. Hmm. Polyrath, eh? Hmm. I want to use Yon Mega. Maybe Yon Mega and I'll Tailwind and then rely on Shiftry for the remainder? I don't know. What's up, Radar? How are you? Let's Tailwind. Maybe I don't die from the first hit. We belly drums. I think I can. Hit him with a flying move. Oh, how much health? Uh... Let's try it. Maybe he'll flinch too. Ah, he's dead. We're good. Now he's gonna send out Yan Mega. Um. Let's say use beat up. Could just go with Mad Car Go. And I'll get a little bit extra speed from Tailwind. Good job, Yon Mega. Yon Mega's not too bad. I'm kind of liking Yon Mega. I've never really used it except for in this DLC. I've also never really used Mad Car Go, and he's been pretty tanky. What's my Terra? My Terra's Rock. All right, yeah, let's Terra. Rock is really good against both. We'll do that. Bug and flying, right? Will Tailwind make me faster or not? Probably not, right? I mean, I'm a snake. A slow snake. Good. One Ancient Power! A faster snail is still just a snail. Hey, you ever seen, uh, what is it called? Turbo? <sighs> what is he? Ground and flying? Let's keep this and try an ancient power again. I always want to think that he's poisoned, but I don't believe he is. So, ancient power. Oh, earthquake! No! All right, all right, all right, all right. Is 
no, Tailwind. All right, that's my... Swap and Mega. He can't hit me with a ground move, because I'm flying. But he probably knows a rock move, right? It's Tailwind again. There's the rock. Ooh, I didn't die. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. My speed fell, but I just got Tailwind. Um, let's U-turn. Hmm. I could try to Hydro Pump him. I could try Leaf Blade, but he's also flying. Let's try this. He might have used a rock move, and I think Polyrath can tank the hit. Yeah. Alright, hope Hydro Pump does, does good. Oh, not quite. Almost. Good. Let's just drain punch. Oh no, he's flying! Blast. I was worried about Hydro Pump missing. Yeah, I went my tailwind. He might be faster than me now. He is. All right, let's get another Tailwind out. He'll die, probably. The Rock Tomb, or Rock Throw, or whatever it was. But we should be able to get Tailwind again. And then I'll rely on Ship Tree with the speed of Tailwind to finish him off. And then we only have one more Pokemon. Heck, we might have to come down to Lucaria, who knows? I think he has one more Pokemon, right? Let's do Leaf Blade with the extra boost from Tailwind. And what's his last Pokemon? Diplin. Just keep the current, I guess. He's dragging, though. It's going to be resistant a little bit, isn't it? I should have swapped to Lucario, I think. I think beat up won't do that much. I think I'll get a sucker punch in because they'll probably attack me. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. I think if I just sucker punch, I might be able to just kill him. Leftovers. There. Ever seen Disney's Brave? Uh, yeah, I've seen Brave. Bacon, part of a healthy, balanced team cop. Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, one more sucker punch might do it. <coughs> cool. I could have swapped to Lucario, and he did have, I think, Draco Meteor, which may be what I could have done instead of pulling Shift Tree out right there. I 
I knew I couldn't win. But I just couldn't give up. I'm sorry. Oh, Kiki. I think it's time for you to catch Ogre Pond, Aaron. Or do I... Do I just throw a Pokeball? It wants to be my friend, right? Prove myself to Ogre Pond. Okay, let's save... Alright, we saved. Let's see what happens. I don't even know what moves it does. Do you want to battle Ogapon so that you can catch it? Yes. Like, we've, I don't think we've ever seen this thing fight, have we? I assume it's grass. Uh-oh. And fire? I, what does that mean? Look, his cloak is different. Oh my gosh, man. I don't know what to expect of this. Okay. Uh, should I throw a quick ball right off the bat? Or is it like a tariff battle? Okay, it's like a tariff battle. Oh, he's a tariff! Ah! That's so cool! Why is it all terror like this? I want more of this! It terrorizes its mask, so this is what Ogre Pond's really capable of. Oh, embodied ice. Ah! Heart Flame mask. Heart Flame, it's gonna kill me, but I'm gonna Tailwind before I die. Never mind, I'm not. He's grassy training. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Okay, so he's gotta be grass. Initially. And what's it gonna be like to battle with this guy? This is neat. Alright, uh... What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? He must be fire. He must be grass. So, let's do... You turn into... Polly? Ooh, okay, that was a good hit. Not as strong as I thought he would be. Maybe he's kind of glass cannony. Which means he might hit real hard. Um... I think I want to turn into Polly. Let's throw out Polly. Used IV Cudgel. Is that... Okay, it's not very effective. Good. Oh, I have my HP restored because of the grass. Good, good, good. Let's Hydro Pump. Just then I have stab. Nice. Good, good, good. Look at you adapting Ogre Pond's type. I knew you could handle this. Another Ivy Cudgel. I tanked it pretty well last time. I'm glad it's not very effective. Dang, I should have hydro uh, terrorized Hydro. All right, um, do another Hydro, I guess. It's gonna miss. No. All right, I've been IV'd. All right, is it gonna use another mask? Polyrath, he loves me. No, my Tailwind's gone. I can't swap now. Just hope I'm fast enough for Hydro Pump again. I am not. Alright. Uh, let's get Tailwind out again. The grass is gone. Okay. Tailwind... Don't kill me. Come on. Polyrath took it. Oh, that's super effective. Okay. Is that a raw cudgel? 
Oh boy. Could be. Um. I could go super rock type. He must be rocky. Rock is super effective against him. Huh. Wonder if Mamo can take some hits. I didn't get my tailwind off either, did I? <coughs> Terrorizing the Earth, super effective. Sure, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Hopefully I can tank some more hits. Ice doesn't seem to be very effective, so I don't want it to be my weakness either. So let's just make myself more groundy. A well-grounded Mammoth Swine. Come on, please tank this hit. Jeez! Well, thank goodness for love. Please be a big hit. Oh, oh, oh Mammo, wow. That was a big hit. Good job. All right. Whoo. Oh, whatever that was. Members of adventuring you gr grant Ogre Pond strength. No, he's not done. Now he's sad. And he's... Gonna tear his again, okay. Water, ice. Gosh darn it. I thought I'd like, oh man, I pulled this out, I'm good. Uh, so. Earthquake and maybe I get a hit. Does he only have this move? He has this and slam, right? Wellspring Mask of Ogre Pond. Uh, sh shift Tree. Does the Ivy Cudgel change? If it's water now, I might be able to tank it better. I don't want to use Mag Cargo. All right. All right, Leaf Blade. Gosh darn it. He has low kick? Why? Why do you have low kick? Oh no! Sucker punch. Let's sucker punch him. You really are good, Aaron. I'm no match. <laughs> Let's sucker punch. I think, it, I think we'll get him. He's bound to try to low kick. Bam. There we go. Love gonna save you again. Does he, he has like four masks, doesn't he? Memories of working together. Retrieve the masks. Saint Grant Ogre Pond. Uh, all right, what's this guy? Rock or steel? Big old scary face. What is this? <clears throat> Cornerstone mask. Okay. Uh. He played still good, but I think he's gonna kill me. I don't think I'm faster than him. I really don't know. I really don't know. Maybe we can... I can Sucker Punch and guarantee some hits, or I can Leaf Blade and maybe I don't die. Leaf Blade did a lot of damage on the last one. Only I had Tailwind. There's Low Kick again. Hmm. Oh, 
how bad low kick's gonna hurt my cargo. I have close combat and meteor mash. He has Slam, Ivy Cudgel, Low Kick, something else. Let's try Lucario. <laughs> I'm gonna try Meteor Mash. Oh, Grassy Terrain, good. Come on, Meteor Mash, build my attack back up. Okay, so that's the four moves he has. Good. This one's a lot stronger though, right? And I just upped my attack, but it's going to lower my defense and special defense. But he's probably going to kill me in a hit anyway. Let's try this. Let's try this. Uh, what? Work. There we go. Okay, low kick. Okay. Good. I'm glad I did this. Hopefully it gets a good... Oh, no! Maybe Extreme Speed can finish him? Does he have another mask? Doesn't he have four masks? Extreme Speed's not very effective, but I don't know what else to do. Yeah, good. What? He's not dead? I'm not happy about that. Pretty sure it's saw his health go to zero. <sighs> Bring Lucario back and do another meteor mash. Even Yan Mega is not fast enough. He didn't have anything that one shot of Lucario. I have nine max revives. Alright, I don't know. I don't know if he'll get killed. I feel like he's gonna get one shotted here. I can't believe he wasn't dead. I thought I was like, yes, I pulled it off with an extreme speed. All right, come on, Lucario. Meteor mash, please. Don't die from the low kick, and I'm happy. Good. That should finish him. He's dead. Dead! Okay. Good. Don't pull out another mask. I'm not, a, I'm not a Pokemon. No, just don't pull this one out. This must be grass. Grass, rock, fire, and water. Is that what it is? I had Matt Cargo ready. I had him ready to go against this. The Teal Mask. <sighs> um, yeah, fire. Imagine that. That's effective. Didn't Mamo get one shot in? Did Mamo get one shot in? <sighs> Kari's about to die. moves hit. All 
right, Mamo, I'm running out of this stuff. Will a quick attack with Ice Shard be good? I mean, if I get one shot, it's not gonna matter. I don't have enough. I can't. I can't revive multiples. I just see what happens. Oh, I don't know if that's enough. Grassy terrain. Oh, that might be what I need. If I can tank one hit, even with that healing, I might be able to. I think one more ice, icy shard will do it. You can't catch it yet. You need to show upon more of what you can do. Oh, don't die. Come on, bacon. Oh, it's just tank one hit. No! Ah! That one... That one... It's still alive moment. <clears throat> I'm gonna reload the save. I don't want to lose my 9,000. I can't, if that one would have killed it, then I would have had Lucario and Mad Cargo. Maybe I could have done a little bit more damage to the final one. I'd have had two Pokemon maybe to bounce back and forth with or something, but dang it. Dude, I was so close to it. Alright, um... <coughs> Polygraph tanked some hits in the beginning. Let's just start with him. Let's try this again. Dang, man. Maybe this time will go better. I'm expecting a grassy terrain first. Okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to terrestrialize Hydro Pump first first turn. I think he's gonna grassy terrain. Train. Please hit real hard. Please hit. Please hit. Come on, Polyrath. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap you out. I'm gonna bring out Crawdon. I really need that hit. I really needed that. Dang it, I don't know if I can take a second hit. What in the world is this? This is, uh, Digipal world. This is the Teal Mask. Please take one more hit. Please, 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 please. 
Oh, okay. Okay, come on. Hydro pump, please. Do just enough. I want you to do just enough. You didn't you didn't do it. You didn't do enough. I don't wanna lose I wanna use this for I think I'm gonna use a heal. I think I can take two hits now, I'm hoping. Good. I'll do one more anything. I'll just... I'll do an earth move. I'll do the earth power. Right, because it's 100? Yeah, I'll do that. Take one more Ivy. Good. Alright. <coughs> one down. And we'll swap to something else here. Because I think he pulls out the water mask. I'm trying, Rookie. I can only make sure so much. Alright, I really want to get Shift Tree out. But I don't want to lose him a lot either. Hmm, I want to pull back Holly. The last one's bug. These two might be okay for that. For water, I really want to pull out him. I'd like to bring back Polyrath for the... Can Shift Tree take a hit? Did he take a hit before? How do I... How do I save Polyrath with his water? I want to use him against Rock. Get Tailwind up first. If I switch to Yon Mega, though, he's going to die. Ivy Cludgel just destroyed him. Maybe I'll pull up Magcar Go. See if he can take an Ivy Cludgel hit. I don't think he did, but I don't remember what he used on him before. Ah, slam! <laughs> slam, Ivy Cludgel. He's gonna use Ivy Cludgel now, right? Let's use his low kick. Did he use low kick on me last time? He uses low kick. I could switch to Yon Mega. Who did he use low kick on? Shift tree he used it on. Hmm. Maybe what I'll do is use this time to heal Polyrath. I think Polyrath for the rock one will be good. It is Ivy Clud Cudgel. It'll probably kill me. I'm assuming it takes some kind of thing from these different Pokemon, so I'll bring out Yon Mega. Like, as the masks change, the Cudgel changes too or something. Let's Tailwind this one. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Hmm. So maybe we can U-turn into into Shift Tree. What would he use? He wouldn't use Low Kick. Probably use the Cudgel, which would be Water, and I can probably tank it and then Leaf Blade with more damage and speed. Let's try that. I hope it works. 
He might slam, which I don't think will do that much damage. And I don't think he'll low kick. Good. Yeah, okay. I think I can tank this one. I hope. Oh, good. All right. I think Leaf Blade can kill him. I think I have, I, I have, I have hope. That actually, that actually do it? Okay. Good. If Tailwind's still up, I think I can do it to the Rock one as well. And Tailwind shouldn't have gone. I should last five turns, and it's only been two. So let's use another Leaf Blade. Uh, oh yeah, my, my Polyrath I think does have Water Absorb. That might have been a good idea too. Dang. Alright, let's try Leaf Blade. Does that actually take him out? Critical hit! I'll praise you. Like I should. Yeah. All right. All right. What's next? I think the next one's grass stuff, right? I think that's what a teal mask is. Oh, good job, Shift Tree. You did a good job there. Let's see what we can do. I don't know if Leaf Blade will do much here. Speed Rose. That's not gonna do much. Uh, how many Pokemon I got left? Maybe I'll do Beat Up. <coughs> I have Speed and an Attack Buff. Let's do Beat Up. If he kills me after this one, fine. At least I did a lot of damage. And I'll use Yon Mega, maybe. About half health. Shifter, you did what you needed to. You got through two of them. We'll pull out Yon Mega and maybe do a Tailwind. Did my Tailwind end yet? It didn't end yet, did it? Uh, is it why? Last turn for Tailwind, two more turns for Grassy Terrain. He has one speed boost. <coughs> Let me bug buzz. Now's your chance to catch it! I like, because of the terrestrializing, we have these ways of like, just pick a Pokeball you want it to be in. Dude, what, what Pokeball? What I got? Should I put it in a Luxury Ball? A Friend Ball? I think I'm gonna put it in a Friend Ball. I like the look of it, and it, it wants a friend. I think it's I think it's a good, I think it's poetic. You know what I mean? You put your Venusaur on a friend ball, that's good, too. Yeah, I think color matches, it's storyline, it wants a friend. Friend ball! It's even got a little, like, orange dot, like the little orange face that... I think it's a good choice. He has an orange face, has an orange dot. This Pokemon's type changes based on which mask it's wearing. It confounds its enemies with nimble movements and kicks. Add him to my party. <coughs> oh man, I don't know. I want you to be my friend, but I like all these guys. 
I guess Lucario can go. No. Ogapon, you go to the box. Ogapon. Jeez, man, that was a fun fight. I like that. Cornerstone Mask, the Wellspring Mask, and the Hearth Flame Mask. In the bag. I wonder how that works with battling. Can I swap whenever? Is it only per battle or what? Pretty impressive. <clears throat> the shifter you did great, Sam. C congratulations. I'll take good care of it. Yeah. Why, why can't I be like you, Aaron? Wah! And he's sad. Ugh, I hate when he gets like that. Don't worry about him. He's the one who said the winner gets to become Ogre Pond's partner. Come on, let's head home. <laughs> well, isn't that what it's supposed to sound like? <laughs> the next day. Are we done with the DLC? Is this the end of the story? Hey Aaron, good morning. I've got a message from Carmine. She says she's waiting for you at Loyalty Plaza and that you should hurry up and meet her there. Say, why do you two always use me as your messenger boy, huh? What a movement he had there, too. Hey, can I capture this Clefable right here? I need that. Did we ever take care of the Mrs. Briar? Did she, didn't she want... she want some crystals or something? What was the deal with her? Yeah, Clef and Volby. I don't need to do that. Uh, well, let's go over here. Um, not you. You're not who I'm after. What is this? Is am I am I after you? Why do I want to talk to you? I thought we already did your stuff. I've been waiting for you to come by, partner. <clears throat> I managed to develop the photos I took the I took of the Blood Moon Beast. <laughs> How do they look? Oh well, fact is that once I got them all printed out, I could see that the photos I managed to get are all blurry or cut off or out of focus. They really aren't good enough to show anyone. Not even you, partner. Well dang, that sucks. But still. Out of all the photos I've ever taken, I think they may be my favorites. I think I'd gotten too caught up in my own head, worrying about framing or what judges might say, always thinking about what I ought to capture. <clears throat> but just capturing your subjects as they are, that's what photos should be. You taught me something important, partner, so thanks for that. Ah, that's right, your name. I never even asked you your name, partner. I know it's awful of me, after all you did to help, but mind teaching me your name? You call me Aaron. Aaron, a perfect name for a gutsy kid like you. Well then, nice to officially meet you, Aaron. The name's Perrin, a photographer with a renewed love of photography. I can say that with pride now. Ah, and your reward. You've earned yourself a real choice reward for all the help you've been. I got a, I got a bear. A choice scarf. Oh, okay. Thanks. Oh, and this Growlithe of mine has a younger brother that really loves battling. I think you'll do a better job of raising it, good and strong. Oh, that's cool. All right, that's. I like that. Raise it to be real strong, okay? 
I think that about wraps it up. I did what I came here to do, so I guess I should hit the road. I'm afraid this is goodbye. Do you want to exchange Rotom numbers or something? But you know, crowds like these are known for living and working together in pairs. Even if they are separated for a while. I bet their paths might just cross again someday. So you raise out one with care in the meantime. We'll definitely meet again. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what you pull off. I've got high hopes. Goodbye for now, Ern. Until next time. Bow wow. Bye, Perrin. Yeah, rhyming names, right? Perrin and Aaron. Pear, Aaron, and Perrin. Move, Ekans. Oh! Sweet apple. All right, I gotta go meet. Um, I passed it, but I wanna grab this Pokeball. There we go. All right, let's see how this wraps up here. There you are, you took your time. You really battled great yesterday, Aaron. I guess the Mask Retrieval Squad has completed its mission. So, Kiki. Well, he shut himself in his room ever since he got home yesterday. He won't come out? Yeah. Oh, but you don't need to feel guilty or anything. It all started because I said we should keep the whole Ogre Pond thing a secret. And you wouldn't think it, but Kiki's got a bit of an ego too. He doesn't take losing well. Anyway, how's Ogre Pond doing? <clears throat> I'll be honest, I've grown real fond of Ogre Pond myself. Guess Kiki's rubbed off on me a bit. Do you think you could let me have a battle with Ogre Pond? Oh, okay. I don't have him with me. I knew you'd say yes. You're not one to turn down a good battle. Let me know when you're ready. Alright, um... Who do we... Who do we... Who do we swap out? There he is. All right, Ogre Pond. Um, instead of Lucario, Ivy Cudgel, Low Kick, Slam. Can I uh, check some? What moves can I teach him? Double Kick, Counter, Retaliate, Horn Leech. User drains a target's energy with its horns. User's HP is restored by half damage. Cool. Wood hammer, superpower, power whip, spiky shield, synthesis, throat chop, low sweep, growth. Wait, doesn't he already know low sweep? Oh, he knows low kick. Vine whip, leech seed, quick attack, and follow me. Huh. It's a nice little grouping of, uh, of powers here. Uh, maybe instead of grassy terrain... Maybe instead of grassy terrain, we'll go with spiky shield. How about that? So it does power up grass moves. Does it power up the cudgel? User strikes with an ivy wrapped cudgel. This move's type changes depending on the mask worn by the user, and it has a heightened chance of landing a critical hit. I wonder, does this always buff this even if I change what type of mask I'm wearing? heavier the target the greater the moves power hmm. Maybe I should change slam out double kick power whip throat chop user attacks the target's throat let's take throat chop instead of slam I'm always um yeah because slam 75 actually 80 power it's not like I get stabbed from that or anything, right? 
Um, and then I suppose we can keep low kick. Sure, let's just go with that. And we'll move you... You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna do... I don't know how exactly this battle is going to go, but let's save. Which generational gimmick do I like the most? I think competitive-wise, I probably like Terrestrializing the best. Um, I think as far as just fun, I like Mega Evolution the best. Battle style changes depending on its mass, so is it all set and ready to go? Oh, shoot. Do I need to... Um... Do I need to give it a mask? Dang, it needs health! That'd have been bad. Let's, uh, let's have a little picnic. Alright, let's just make a sandwich. We'll make some jam, jam sandwich or something. Yeah, jambon burri. Put a, put a silver pick in it, sure. All right, chat, what mask should I give it? What do you guys think? Well, I make this sandwich. We got the fire, the water, the rock, and um, I guess grass is the teal mask. I don't think there's a I don't think there's a ghost type mask Kong. That would be really cool though. It'd be sweet if they gave it like a lot of masks. But then it might be too much like what Arceus or Null or something. Alright, back up and go, and then we'll look at the masks. I have one for water, I have one for rock. <clears throat> I think they said it was in my key items. They did not, okay. Um, is it just under these? Where's it put? Where'd they put it? Ha ha! Um. Where's the teal mask? Oh, he's already wearing the teal mask. Okay. Um, an item to be held by Ogre Pond. This carved wooden mask is adorned with crystals and allows Ogre Pond to wield the rock type during battle. Uh, and then we have the wellspring, an item to be held by Ogre Pond. This carved wooden mask is adorned with crystals and allows Ogre Pond to wield the water type during battle. Ogre Pond to wear the fire one. So if I change one of these now, like let's say we put on this one. I think it's already wearing the teal mask now, right? Oh no. So it's default is the teal mask, huh? Oh, wow. Super Jordan, thank you so much for the subscribe for 27 months. That's awesome. Okay, so no mask, it wears the teal mask, and then I can choose to give it one of the others. Now, when you do that, does it change its typing? Check summary. Does it say rock now? Oh, grass rock. So still grass. And then its move is still grass? Okay. Hmm. But I don't have any rock moves, or water moves, or fire moves. Oh. But I have Ivy Cudgel. All right. Um. Well, box wise or box wise, mask wise, I am gonna go with Rock. I don't have. I already have Grass and I have Water and I have Fire, but I don't have a Rock. Uh, I have Mad Cargo. He's Rock, but I don't have Grass Rock. 
All right, let's battle. See what happens here. We'll save this time. No, I get that Ivy Cudgel changes, but does it still get the benefits of Grassy Terrain with it being like a grass move, or does it fully change? Because right now it still says it's a grass move. Because Grassy Terrain seems to buff it. Ah, oh, that makes sense. So it's when it terrestrializes. Uh... Alright, I definitely want to use Ogre Pond this time. I like how it, like, it makes you use it, though, within the story. This Tailwind? I might be able to take a hit from this guy. I don't think he's gonna take me out. What level was he? 70? Yeah, we're fine. We'll do a bug buzz. You know what? Let's bring out Ogre Pond. Ah, Ivy Cudgel now is rock. Okay. It wasn't before, but that's cool. Now I see. Now I see. Let's see what Ogre Pond can do. He seemed to be... He, he got hurt a lot. Alright, I'm gonna do... Ooh, okay. So I can really just change that whenever... I'm gonna do a low kick now. Let's do grassy train. See how much it hits. Though he does have aura sphere. Oh no. At least he did have aura sphere before. Okay, I should just swap him out. Dang it. If he kills me in one hit, I'll be mad. Or a wheel, that's what it was. That was the one I was kind of worried about. <laughs> I can't take another hit. My, what? Tailwind's already gone? I'll do a bug buzz, I guess. Oh, he really sped up. Yeah, I gotta get rid of this thing. No. low kick would have hit. I'm gonna die. It's too fast now. Um, who has a uh, priority move? I could use an icicle, maybe. Me. I was trying to use Ogre Pond. Yeah, I'll just Ice Shard. It'll probably finish off that little bit. I 
guess a flamethrower? Let me get rid of the paralysis and then terror slice. Aw, oh, dang, this guy. I think he's also grass, right? Yes, scald. Oh, you held on. Good job. I don't like being sad. Ah, oh, super effective move. All right, I'm going to hop into my bag and grab a the full restorable heal. Yeah. Restores max HP and the status condition. So let's get rid of that. Mag cargo can go down. Rope chop or shift tree with sucker punch. Let's use shift tree. I don't know which one of us is faster. Okay, good. And now for the last one, we'll pull out Ogre Pond against... Who do they have? It's, um... Dang it. Ooh, Ninetales. Okay. Yeah! Let's bring out Ogre Pond. Let's see what we can do. We're gonna Terrace Alive this time. You know, I don't feel like they terrestrialize very much. We'll use Ivy Cudgel. Is it because, like, Carmine and them aren't from Paldea, so they don't really do a lot of terrestrializing? I guess they're from here, but they went to, uh, wherever that other school is, right? Look at my hair! Shop bam! Oh! They run with it and like swing! I couldn't see that last time. Yeah, Blueberry Academy, that's what it is, right? Sweet. Yeah, Ogapon. Sheesh, you're seriously too strong. Ugh, I lost, but I'm also not surprised. You and Ogre Pond really do get along, don't you? It's almost making me jealous. Pon Pon. I actually, uh, sheesh, this is awkward to tell you, but I... No, don't call me now! Sorry, uh, Perrin's calling me. Ugh. Oh, it's the Briar. Hey there, Aaron, this is Briar. It seems all the student pairs have completed their ori orienteering as of this morning. Man, are we still doing that? The caretaker wanted to have some words, so could you head back to the community center? <clears throat> Message received loud and clear. Uh, Carmine is with you. Wonderful. That's one less phone call I'll have to make. You kids never cease to amaze me. It seems you become fast friends the moment you spend even the briefest amount of time together. Well, head on over to the community center. I'll be there with the rest of the students. <clears throat> Shh. 
She's right about it being the briefest amount of time. We only just became friends, and now we... Oh, well. Let's go see what that nosy old guy wants. I don't really want to, but I guess I can play nice one last time. <clears throat> Carmine's definitely gotten nicer throughout the DLC. And yeah, yeah, Pong, Kieran's gotten a little bit more... Hmm, frustrated. I don't know. That sun's still in the same dang place! Man, and now Perrin's gone. No more Perrin. Alright, what do we gotta say now? Are we done? We going home? All we did was orienteering and now we leave? Everybody's here. Well, most of us are here anyway. <clears throat> now then, the caretaker has some words for us. Let's all give him our full attention. Ah, yes, thank you for coming. I've been told that our student pairs have now finished visiting all the signboards in Kitakami, which means your self-guided tour is at an end. Hear that? We did it. We found them all. That was so much fun. Why, thank you for saying so, and thanks for taking part. On that note, I've got a little gift for each of you. <clears throat> ah, Mochi set. Truth be told, I didn't think you'd wrap up the tour this quickly. You're quite the prodigies. Our visitors from Paldea still have heaps of time left to enjoy Kitakami and all it has to offer. Continue to make yourselves at home and explore as you please. However, I'm sorry for the suddenly springing this on you, but Carmine... Kieran and I will need to return to Blueberry Academy a little early. But why? <clears throat> Hopefully we get to see them in the next DLC then. Again, truly sorry, but there have been some developments concerning the Great Crater. Ooh. I'm afraid we really must be heading back. I realize I was here as your chaperone, but you kids have all, the, all proven to be very capable. I'm sure you'll be fine without me. Thank you so much for looking after them in my stead. Don't mention it. You can leave these kids to me. Now then, Carmine, I believe you had something you wanted to say? Yes. Unfortunately, my brother's not feeling well, so it's just me here to speak. Anyway, as you all know, this village is where I was born. And I'll be honest, I didn't want any outsiders coming here at all. Yikes. It felt like our home was being turned into a tourist trap for a bunch of ignorant strangers. But then we spent some time together, and none of you were the way I imagined you'd be at all. You were all really nice once I actually talked to you. I shouldn't have been so quick to judge people I didn't that I didn't know anything about. <clears throat> so I guess what I'm trying to say is, I had fun. Thank you all so much for visiting our village. Especially you, Aaron. I'm glad you came to visit. I mean, it's not like this is a goodbye forever. Blueberry Academy has tons of strong trainers. You better come visit soon. Oh, I almost forgot. I still need to get packed and everything. This is not goodbye, okay? We're definitely gonna see each other again. So parents said. That's Carmine for you, I suppose. You never know quite what to expect from her. <clears throat> is it Carmine? It's supposed to be Carmin? Carmine? Each moment spent with you kids is just dazzling. For an adult like me, <laughs> it's almost blinding. Anyway, that about wraps up this school trip. Let's all give our caretaker a great big thank you. 
Thank you! I think that wraps up the first DLC. I wonder... I assume we'll see them at the Blueberry Academy, like, going into more DLC stuff. I need to become... <clears throat> I need to become a lot stronger. 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 Stronger and stronger and stronger! Huh. This guy's kind of going a little mad. Just you wait, Aaron. Just you wait. Ah! <gasps> oh, cool! They're actually having the DLCs really be linked into one another, huh? Dang, man. And the thing before, I was like, man, Kieran, I think, should get Ogre Pond, but I want him. We did it! <laughs> All right. Well, guys, I think that is probably where we'll wrap up for tonight. But uh, we got to finish off the, uh, the main DLC here. I can try to get the rest of my... I think I have everything now so I can, like, level up redo whatever I need to to get the last few maybe even terror raid to get the last of the uh, Pokedex entries filled I don't think there's anything that I need to do specifically as far as anything extra <clears throat> I think we did all the extra things that we found around um, and we can trade for those KC while I finish talking and stuff too um, but yeah the uh, this story here I'm I don't... Weren't there... There were two DLCs for Sword and Shield, right? Or was there just one? I feel like there were two, right? There was the one with the Cub Foo and the the Towers. And then there was another one with the Birds, right? But I don't really feel like they were too connected. You know what I mean? This is kind of cool, though. I feel like these have more connection between them. Especially with it ending with a to be continued kind of thing. 1397, 1397, KC. <clears throat> Pokedex wise, we're pretty good, Sam. Uh, we've almost got most of the Pokedex done. I don't know if there's anything special that happens at the end of filling the Pokedex or anything. Um, I don't imagine there is. I still got to capture the, uh, the other three, which. I can do on stream if you guys want me to, or I can do it another time. Especially if it's just like a terrestrializing kind of thing. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I have these guys. Here, take a take a tandem out. Yay, Cleffa! Then I can get Cleffa up to Clefairy. That shouldn't be too hard to do. And with it being nighttime, I probably just need to run around and find those last couple things. Yeah, the dust clops be the toughest thing. Honestly, if I can find dust clops in a terror raid, like that, the terror raids really make filling up a lot of those like trade things a little easier. Um, and then there was one more thing to trade off, right? Ah, uh, Bulby. Uh, sure. We can trade for the Illumines and Dusk Call. That'd get me almost done with the Pokedex, too. And then as far as this DLC, I feel like... 
that's everything for this. And then Saturday when we start stuff up, we'll uh, we'll be on just we'll just go straight into getting um, what Indigo Disc doing that one right. The only other things we have are the lousy three, I think, right? So, I suppose we could just run around, capture them real quick at the very beginning, and then go into Indigo Disc, perhaps? But no, general story for this is good. I like that there's, there's the ogre that's bad, but then it's like, you know what? They're actually not that bad. It's the other people that are bad. Like, ah. So, I think that will be... I think that aspect of it is good in changing around having, like, a villain arc. I want to see where Indigo Disc goes. That will be interesting as well. Um, two, five, eight, zero, zero, eight, five, two. Is that good for you? Anarista. What was that I was trading? Duskull Illumai? Wait, what did you just send me? Volbeat? Casey? I think that's right. But yeah, I think, uh, depending on how the next DLC goes, I think I'll probably like these better than Sword and Shield DLC. DLC. Though, I was quite surprised at, uh, um, the, uh, shoot, uh, I was surprised with the birds in that DLC, and I was surprised in this one with the, uh, the teal masks, the, uh, that was real cool, that was, that was my favorite battle in this whole Whole DLC. So, I'm, I'm excited for maybe Indigo Disc doing some similar things with that. Or how it's related to the Great Crater, or whatever. Trading to pad my roster for the head to head. <laughs> no, but that will be on Friday. We'll, we'll be uh, continuing the race. Uh, trying to see how quickly we can move through the game and also what we can capture of, uh, of the Pokemon. So uh, make sure you guys join us at 3 o'clock on Friday for that. And then I'll be back, uh, I think at 12 has been working out okay. It gives me time to uh, get in everything with kids and everything in the morning and whatnot. So we'll probably start at noon again on Saturday. And then uh, we went to like 3 or 4 I think this past Saturday. So it should get us a good bit into the uh, the next DLC. I think. Oh yeah, Platinum starts at 1. I forgot. Platinum's going to start at 1 p.m. this Friday. Thank you, Pong. Thank you for reminding me. Reminding me. We're actually going to get, like, Four hours of getting through the uh, the platinum race uh, and seeing how far we we make it then. Awesome, thank you guys. So yeah, this week's gonna have a lot more uh, a lot more Pokemon streams, or at least more time on them. Uh, let me take a look at my Pokedex right now. See where we ended up. One ninety. So there's ten left. Which is going to be Mel Melotic. Uh, Melotic, the three. As there's four. Uh, Clefable, Clefairy, Dust Noir, Gliscor, and Dust Clops. And Litwick. So. I shouldn't have much issue getting these guys. And I saw Mel Mel Melotic. Melotic. I saw them in a terror raid too, and I may just do a terror raid and capture them that way. So, awesome. I appreciate all the help, guys. Yeah, the Gen 4 race will be earlier, 1 p.m. on Friday. So, 
The month of Pokemon, yes, yes. All right, guys, I think that's everything for today. I'll be back with this uh, noon Saturday, which is what, the 23rd? Um, but join us on the 22nd at 1 p.m. and we'll be doing uh, Pokemon Platinum Race. And we'll see if Eric and I, Eric and I right now are still neck and neck, but I have no idea if I or if he has captured more Pokemon right now as far as who has more points on that aspect. Um, but I think we're both heading towards the second gym right now. So, all right, guys. I hope you guys have a good one. And I'll see you guys uh, hopefully Saturday. Bye, everybody.